Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Resonance Chemistry. Today we are going to deal with uh, some of the inorganic molecules, geometry and their shape. Okay, so some of the molecules, for example, like CH4, ammonia, water, H. So these all the four molecules have the same geometry, that is the tetrahedral geometry, but the shapes of the molecules are different. Tetrahedral, pyramidal, like a uh, angular or bent, uh, so it is linear. So geometry of the molecules are same, but they are different with the, the, the shapes of the molecules. The shapes of the molecules. So the geometry and shapes of the molecules was explained by the like uh, based on their hybridization along with uh, their bond pairs and lone pairs. Their bond pairs and lone pairs. TP plus LP. So BP means bonded pair of electrons. So LP means uh, lone pair of electrons. So those are the non uh, like a uh, non-bonding electrons. Simply it is called as non-bonding electrons. Now let's move on to the like a uh, basic structure, basic part of uh, like uh, geometry and shapes of the molecule. So the geometry and shapes of the molecules was explained by the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory as well as uh, Bent and uh, Drago's rule. Now let us discuss the one by one very clearly. So the first part. So simply here it is the hybridization. Okay, now we know that uh, like basic structures. Now we know that uh, some basic structures. I think it is a. Okay, so now those are the like ESP hybridization. Hybridization can start with uh, more than one orbital. So a single orbital cannot participate. So ESP or ESP2, ESP3, like ESP3D, ESP3D2, like ESP3D3. Okay, these are the like different different types of orbital. So SP means uh, like linear, like uh, the shape of uh, SP2 is planar triangular or trigonal planar, tetrahedral, like uh, trigonal bipyramidal, octahedral, like a uh, pentagonal bipyramidal. These are the geometries. Now these geometries having the like more than one, like planar, triangular, angular, like uh, tetrahedral, pyramidal, angular. Now here like a uh, tetrahedral, sorry, trigonal bipyramidal, sisa as well as a T shape and the linear so different different types of shapes are there okay so those shapes again in case of trigonal bipyramidal moieties now some of the molecules some of the lone pairs as well as some of the more electronegative atoms uh, preferentially placed at the either axial position or equatorial position based on their conditions okay so those all the things which are clearly discussed in the session okay now let's move on to the topic Okay, so first of all, hybridization, now geometry and shapes of the molecule, geometry and shapes of the molecule, okay, now here geometry can start with the two, so that means uh, here the bond pairs and the lone pairs are equal to the two, so however the bond pairs and lone pair total count is two, so two means the hybridization is sp, the hybridization is sp, then geometry of the molecule is linear. So two atoms, any type of two atoms will use the, like this type of geometry only. Whatever the, uh, like orientation, so the shape of the molecule is linear. So now the shape of the molecule is linear. So this is the linear with 180 degrees. So the shape of the molecule is linear with 180 degrees. Now again, we can go through the like a three, that is the three bond pairs or lone pairs, or otherwise uh, like two bond pairs or one lone pair, or one bond pair, two lone pairs, such type of cases are arised, whatever it may be, three bond pair, lone pair means a hybridization, three orbitals, that is equal to the, to like a sp2 hybridization, that is equal to the sp2 hybridization. Now the geometry of the molecule is a trigonal planar, the geometry of the molecule is trigonal planar. Okay, now here it having the more than one type, more than two type of stripes. Now here it is the trigonal planar. This is the shape, trigonal planar. So now the bond angles are all are 120 degrees. All bond angles are 120 degrees. Here three bond pairs, zero lone pairs. Now in case of one of the bond pair, one of the bond pair becomes a lone pair. Now the shape of molecules like this. Shape of the molecule like this. So this is the molecule, then its shape is called as angular or bent 
or inverted V shape or inverted V shape. It is lesser than the like 120 degrees or sometimes it is 104 or 105 approximate value, approximate uh, range of their bond angles. Okay. Now here one lone pair is there, 2 plus 1. So the, here it is the one bond pair, another bond pair, one lone pair. Here three bond pairs, 1, 2, 3. So that's why three bond pairs plus zero lone pairs. Now here two bond pairs, one lone pair. Okay. Now let's move on to the, again, another another structure of the trigonal bipyramidal. So here it is the one lone pair. This is the another lone pair. Another bond pair becomes a lone pair. Then the shape of the molecule is linear. The shape of the molecule is linear. So this is the, in case of uh, three membered rings. Now let's move on to the four member. So that is the, like a sp3. This is the uh, sp3 moiety. sp3 is nothing but a tetrahedral. We know that uh, the geometry of a sp3 is a tetrahedral. So tetrahedral having the more than more than like uh, almost all four types of structures. Now let's move on to each and every structure. So this is the like a tetrahedral moiety. So how many bond pairs are there? So this is the central atom. It is the one bond pair, second bond pair, third bond pair, four bond pair. Like a four plus zero system. That is the four bond pairs. Tetrahedral. The shape of the molecule is tetrahedral. The bond angle are 109 degrees to 8 seconds. 109 degrees to 8 seconds. This is the tetrahedral moiety. Now again, the tetrahedral moiety, one of the bond pairs becomes a lone pair. So then the shape of the tetrahedral moiety becomes uh, like an easy to mummies. Like that is, that is nothing but a pyramidal shape. This is the pyramidal shape now here. So this is the like a moiety. Three are uh, oriented like this. So one of the molecule oriented like this. This is the tetrahedral. So one of the top of the molecule, one of the top ways of the molecule becomes a lone pair. So these three appears like this. Okay. Now these three was uh, fitted by the like these type of geometry. These three like a packet with like this. So then we assume it is easy to mummy. That is nothing but a pyramidal shape. That is nothing but a pyramidal shape. So that's why it is a, a pyramidal. Okay, now approximately 107 degrees of bond angle. 107 degrees of bond angle. Again, one more lone pair. One more lone pair which can convert into like bond pair. Okay, now one more bond, lone pair can convert into bond pair can convert into lone pair. Then the shape of molecule is angular or bent. Yeah, angular or bent. This is 104 degrees. Now again, if third one is also changed, then it is linear shape. Then it is linear shape. So this is the like a uh, coordination number four. That is nothing but uh, sorry total number of bond pairs and lone pairs is equal to the four. Then hybridization is sp3. Geometry is a tetrahedral and the shapes are tetrahedral, pyramidal, angular, linear. Okay, now let's move on to the number five. So that is the like a five is nothing but a sp3d hybridization. Like a geometry is a trigonal bipyramidal. Geometry is nothing but a trigonal bipyramidal. So now the first shape of the molecule is a trigonal bipyramidal. So this is the like a trigonal bipyramidal. Okay. Now this is the structure. So the trigonal bipyramidal is having the two R axial positions. So these are the two axial. Three are in equatorial positions. So those equatorial bond pairs are having the 120 degrees bond separation and the axials, axial with the equatorial is 90 degrees separation. The axial with the equatorial is 90 degrees bond angle. Okay. Now here this is the trigonal bipyramidal shape. Trigonal bipyramidal. So now one of the bond pair will become the lone pair. So the lone pair which is uh, al always closer to the like always closer to the nucleus. That's why lone pairs always occupies the equatorial position. So it can use the this type of structure it seems to be like a saw so it is a seesaw shape it is a seesaw shape now again um, like a two bond pairs uh, two bond pairs becomes a lone pair of the shape it seems to be a t so that's why this is the t shape of the molecule t shape of the molecule the finally three lone pairs are changed then it is linear mighty then it is linear mighty so now here it is all our 90 degrees so it is a, like a, it is a distorted 90 degrees rotation. Now let us discuss the six that is nothing but a sp3d2. The total bond pairs and lone pairs are S, uh, six. Then it is sp3d2. Shape of the molecule is octahedral. Now this is, this having the three types of three types of shape. So this is the like a square. Okay. And now it having the two types of molecule. So then it is called as octahedral. All are 90 degrees. Now again, in case of here it is the 6 plus 0 system. That is the 6 bond pairs, 0 lone pairs. So if any one of the system, like any one of the like a bond pair will become lone pair. So now here the bond pairs which has the lowest, like a, that means a axial position can occupy the easier, e easily in case of octahedral geometry. That's why it is the like a square pyramidal geometry. Square pyramidal geometry. 
so here also 90 degrees bond angle 90 degrees bond angle so finally if two lone pairs is present uh, so then it is uh, like a square planar geometry square planar so all the structures are bond angle is 90 so now here it is 4 plus 2 system 4 pl like 5 plus 1 system 5 plus 1 system this is the like an uh, sp3 d2 octahedral geometry sp3 d2 octahedral geometry now the seventh one so that is the like a sp3 d3 hybridization sp3 d3 hybridization so that is the pentagonal bipyramidal structure pentagon bipyramidal so simply it is the pentagon is nothing but a, like a five member ring so this is the pentagon so five corners gun means corners so pentagon means five corners so the five corners will appear like this uh, like it is a plane so one of the molecule one of the bond pair will will appear like above the plane and another one is the below the plane so the above the plane which is clo closed like this like this so then it is pyramidal above pyramidal below pyramidal that is bipyramidal so pentagonal bipyramidal so this is the shape of the molecule pentagonal bipyramidal so now in case of pentagonal bipyramidal so here it is the these bond angle is 72 degrees so now these bond angles are 90 degrees so 72 and 90 degrees bond angles are observed so now here this is the 7 plus 0 system now in case 7 like 6 plus 1 system that is 6 bond pairs one lone pair so one of the like uh, axial position can convert into lone pairs so then here it is the shape of the molecule pentagonal monopyramidal so if two bonds are there above one below one is there then bipyramidal only one bottom one is or up one, uh, upper one is there then it is pentagonal monopyramidal now finally like a 5 plus 2 system so here two lone pairs so this is the system the, uh, like a two lone pairs will appear like this this is the lone pair so this is the lone pair then it is a pentagonal planar system pentagonal planar system so these type of systems and the hybridizations as well as geometry and their shapes are observed in the inorganic commodities okay now let us move on to the some of the examples regarding to the these structures as well as a trigonal bipyramidal some of the lone pairs especially especially attack over the like equatorial position now in case of uh, like octahedral and pentagonal bipyramidal the lone pairs act pace uh, like it is a uh, that means uh, axial position why it is happened now let's discuss the complete analysis on that okay Okay, now let us discuss the like uh, geometries. Some of the like uh, lone pair of electrons, especially it occupies the equatorial position. We don't know the reason why it is uh, happens. Or some of the more electron activity atoms, it placed at the like axial position in case of trigonal bipyramidal geometry. We don't know whether it is uh, why it happens. Why it is uh, uh, some of the cases why it does not it happens. Now let's move on to the like trigonal bipyramidal geometry complete structure. So this is the trigonal bipyramidal. So now we know that trigonal bipyramidal, the best example PCL5 or PF5. These are the best examples. Now we are discussed in the F19 NMR, NMR or P31 NMR also. These are the best example PF5. Okay. Now the structure of PF5 like this. F, F, F. Okay. Now it is the fluorine, fluorine. So now the like a trigonal bipyramidal shape like this. Okay, now here full fluorine, fluorine, fluorine. This is the fluorine atom. This is the fluorine atom. So now here, these are the axial positions. Axial positions have the more bond length. That means uh, it is uh, like a uh, more distance when compared to the equatorial. So that's why it is far away from the central metal atom. It is closer to the central metal atom. Okay, so this is the structure of uh, PF5. Now in case of uh, like a uh, bond pair and lone pairs uh, having the like a certain uh, positions, either axial or equatorial position. Whenever lone pair of electrons will appear approaches are will placed at the equatorial position we observed the like electron pair repulsions okay now three types of electron pairs are there so those are the like lone pair lone pair repulsion as well as lone pair bond pair repulsion lone pair bond pair repulsions finally bond pair bond pair repulsions are there so these type of repulsions are observed so these three type of repulsions the energy like more repulsion orders like this lone pair lone pair greater than that of the lone pair bond pair now it which is greater than that of the bond pair bond pair repulsions so this is the like repulsive order this is the repulsion order of the like lone pair lone pair lone pair bond pair bond pair bond pair repulsions okay now based on this we will construct the or we will assume the like a structure of any atoms now let's move on to the like trigonal bipyramidal geometry of uh, like a different structures 
Okay. Now here P of I is the perfect trigonal bipyramidal. Perfect trigonal bipyramidal. Now SF4, here it is the like this is the 5 plus 0 system, this is the 4 plus 1 system. Cl of 3, this is the 3 plus 2 system. That means uh, here one lone pair is increased and another lone pair is increased. These three are the structures. Now the CL of this structure. Now let's move on to the first of all CL of this structure. So CL F3. So let us assume here it is the like a planar trigonal moiety. Let us assume. So that means CL F3 uh, planar trigonal means it is the one LR 120 degrees angle. So that the case here two lone pairs. Why? Why? Because two lone pairs are there. Those two lone pairs appear at the e axial position. Or another type of arrangement. So one lone pair is axial and another lone pair is equatorial. So these three are the, these three are the like a fluorine atoms. Remaining fluorine atoms. Now finally. So if two lone pairs, if two like uh, here it is this chlorine, if two lo uh, like uh, electron pairs are lone pairs which occupy the equatorial position, we observe this type of structure. So among these three structures, this is the first structure, second structure, third structure. Among these three structures, uh, which is perfect structure or which is the correct structure, uh, the, which are uh, wrong structures. Now let's move on to the like a uh, lone pair, lone pair and bond pair, bond pair, repul repulsive order. Okay, now here lone pair, lone pair, repulsions and bond pair, bond pair, lone pair, repulsions or lone pair, bond pair, whatever it may be. So bond pair, bond pair, repulsions. Okay, now generally lone pair, lone pair or bond pair, lone pair or bond pair, bond pair, repulsion. Those all, all are the electron pair repulsions. So the electron pair repulsions uh, less than 90 degrees or equal to the 90 degrees can only observe if more than 90 degrees in, or simply it is 90 degrees is increased the electronic repulsions bond angle increased more than 90 degrees those are in, uh, those are like uh, ignored so in case of like one, 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 120 degrees repulsions are observed, so those are the ignored, okay? Now in case of 90 degrees are less than 90 degrees, less 90 degrees or less than 90 degrees, what then only we observe, okay? Now here it is the like a planar moiety, so planar moiety like this, this is the like a Cl of 3 moiety, Cl of 3, these are the like a f two, a three fluorine atoms, okay? Now one is the upper side and another one is the downside. So this is the upper side, this is the like downside. So that indicates here it is the one lone pair and another lone pair present here. So that means uh, the lone pairs with the bond pair, so the lone pairs with the bond pair is 90 degrees angle. Now the lone pair to lone pair is 180 degrees. Uh, lone pair to bond pair 190, second 90, third 90. Again similarly like first 90, second 90, third 90. Totally lone pair bond pairs are six. Uh, Lone pair bond pair repulsions are six. Uh, lone pair lone pair repulsions are zero. There is no lone pair lone pair repulsion. Why? Because the both are oriented in 180 degrees. Uh, so if nine more than 90 degrees, those are the like uh, negligible or ignored. So bond pair bond pair repulsion. Here it is the bond bond angle is 120 degrees more than 90. So this is also ignored. This is also ignored. Now lone pair lone pair. Now again here lone pair lone pair repulsions. Here it is the like 90 degrees 190 degrees. So one lone pair lone pair repulsion. Okay, now bond pair, bond, lone pair, bond pair repulsion. So here it is 190, 190, 290s. Again here like a 190. So totally three lone pair, bond pair repulsions are observed. Lone pair, bond pair repulsions. So now here it is one second. So this is the third. This is the third repulsions. Now here like a bond pair, bond pair repulsions. Bond pair, bond pair repulsions. So now bond pair, bond pair repulsions. Here it is the one. Here it is the two, so two bond pair bond pair repulsions are observed. Now, in case uh, of the final structure, there is no lone pair lone pair repulsion. Why? Because they, the, both the lone pairs are oriented in the 120 degree separation. Both the lone pairs are oriented in the 120 degree separation. So lone pair lone pair repulsions are zero. Lone pair bond pair repulsions. So lone pair bond pair. So one like it is a two so this is a like a 290 degrees bond angles again he similarly it is also 290 degrees bond angles totally lone pair bond pairs are two sorry four now bond pair bond pairs so here it is the one bond pair now again it is the one bond pair two bond pair bond pair repulsions are observed now in this case uh, which is the perfect structure uh, which has the minimize their repulsions so those are the correct structure now here it is the lone pair lone pair repulsion so lone pair lone pair is the uh, maximum repulsions uh, along with that it having the lone pair bond pair repulsions as well as bond pair bond pair repulsions so this is the like most repulsive most repulsive structure that's why this is wrong most repulsive structure that's why it is wrong so among the first and third which is uh, which is the proper structure now here there is 
is no loan per loan per repulsion severe also there is no loan per loan per repulsion but it is it has the bond per loan per repulsion is four six now here it is only four so but the bond per bond per repulsion has the two but it is very lesser bond per bond per repulsion so that's why this is the proper structure this is the proper structure when compared to the first one so first and second are irregular structures the final one is the proper structure that is the correct structure so the correct structure of clf3 like this fluorine lone pair lone pair fluorine so the fluorine so two are the axial position one is the equatorial position this is the like a equatorial position structure of clf3 now let's move on to the some other exceptions okay now let's let us uh, uh, examine ourselves this is the sf4 mighty now i'll draw the like a two sf4 structure so which is correct you can assume which is the correct structure sf4 structure so based on your knowledge you can assume so which is the correct structure which is the correct structure sf 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 okay sf4 so this is the structure of a first and second among these two which is the like a most favorable structure so either first one or second one so let us pause the video you can assume yourself so which is the correct one okay now i'll tell the answer so you can uh, examine yourself let us pause the video you can uh, like uh, you can examine yourself first or second okay now i'll reveal the answer so the first one is the more stable why because so here it is the lone pair occupies the like a equatorial position which is the more stable here it has the minimum minimum repulsive forces you can uh, check uh, after some time okay this is the minimum repulsive forces that's why it is the like a perfect structure this is the correct structure this is the wrong structure this is the wrong structure now in the previous case as well as this case the lone pairs preferentially placed at the equatorial position why because so it is the like a like a it is a Pregnal bipyramidal geometry. If lone pairs which is closer to the phosphorus, or it may be present the axial position. So the axial position bond length is more than that of the like equatorial position. That means uh, it is closer to the nucleus. So lone pairs always attracted to the nucleus, attracted by the nucleus. So that's why lone pairs preferentially attack at the equatorial position in case of uh, trigonal bipyramidal geometry. Trigonal bipyramidal geometry. Again, uh, this is the first point. So lone pairs preferentially. place that place that equatorial position equatorial position now the second one the more electronegative atoms so these are the dragos rule so the more electronegative atom place that uh, axial position in case of a trigonal bipyramidal geometry axial position why because uh, this is the structure of a uh, like a uh, trigonal bipyramidal so if more more electronegativity atom placed at the like equatorial position so here it is the like a uh, very closer to this system this is the bond length is lesser so then it is more repulsive forces is absorbed so that's why the more electronegativity atom preferentially attack at the axial position only preferentially attack at the axial position only so this is the very interesting uh, like uh, points regarding to the like uh, geometry and their shapes as well as the lone pairs and more electronegativity atom positions so now i'll explain one or two questions very simple questions which are given in the like uh, 2020 2020 polytechnic lecture exam as well as the previous year csr questions now the shape of uh, xeo2 xeo2 f2 so they are asking about uh, xeo o it has the 120 degrees one of the option now f x e f is 120 degrees this is a uh, another option or like a uh, x e o x e f is 120 degrees or another type they are given in the like per particular shape is the shisa so which is the correct option which is the correct bond angle so now we know that uh, x e o to f2 so this is the like one lone pair with a uh, like a uh, four bond pairs with one lone pair so this is the five that indicates it is a trigonal bipyramidal geometry so now the structure of my is is equal to the like uh, one is the like a uh, two r axial position to our equatorial position one is the like lone pair so the lone pairs always prefer that uh, equatorial position now among these two oxygen and fluorine which is more electronegative so fluorine is more electronegative they are preferred at uh, axial position so this is the oxygen so now which one having the like 120 degree separation this is the 120 degree separation so o x e o is the 120 degree separation this is the all technical question okay that's all for this video in this video we will discuss the like a geometry as well as the shapes of the molecules of many of the inorganic moieties okay now uh, 
you we don't know this some of the like uh, bond pairs and loan pair calculation if you want to cal calculate the, those bond pairs and loan pairs uh, of any inorganic moieties you can watch the ne my next video okay until thank you so much for watching